including economic and legal issues. The Ministry of Defense of the USSR made public um, information on the disappearance, the disappearance in June of 1952 of a Swedish military plane over the Baltic Sea. It was shot down by Soviet fighter jets. This was a gross violation of international law. However, it's partially explained by the severity of um, the Cold War tension, which was occurring at the time in 1952. Well, we have information about this uh, tragedy. When will we learn the whole truth about the South Korean jet incident? International news agencies report that the Yugoslav National Army has occupied the city of Vukovar. Three months ago, it would be hard to imagine that this small city on the Dunai River would become the site of these major battles in the middle of Europe. Yugoslavia is en engulfed by a civil war. There's bloodshed. Villages are burning. Many people must be evacuated. The country is torn apart by civil war. Formerly um, brotherly Slavic peoples have become enemies overnight. This is all due to independence declared by uh, Yugos uh, Croatia and Slovakia. The intervention of the army has fueled the conflict. And when the Serb minority in Croatia declared their, auto their autonomy, conflicts arose. The center of the area uh, was Vukovar, the conditional capital of the Serbs in Croatia. Yugoslavia also attempted to create a union of sovereign states. The results were very bad. The conflicts arose when several of the republics declared their sovereignty. Vukovar is now in ruins. The war continues. Despite all efforts to stop the, um, the, the conflict, there are 13 ceasefires have been established and have failed already. Sarunc Vance, as a UN representative in Yugoslavia, his goal is to stop the bloodshed. Uh, the possibility remains of using special United Nations troops. The German Chancellor Kohl will personally intervene in the issue of the deportation of former East German Chief Honecker from Moscow. The Russian government has recently declared support for the deportation of Honecker. However, this issue is far from being resolved. The German side expected that the Russian Justice Minister Fyodorov will give an answer, a specific answer today. Fyodorov, the Russian Justice Minister, said that Honecker's deportation would depend upon his state of health. However, Russian officials agreed to allow German doctors to participate in the medical examination of Honecker. The Honecker issue will influence Yeltsin's visit to Bonn. Uh, Yeltsin in a press conference with German, the German press today stated that Honecker's deportation and uh, Gorbachev's intervention is immoral. Germany agrees that there are many important issues, many more important issues than the Honecker issue, but disagrees with Gorbachev's definition of humanity. German officials believe that if Honecker really asked Gorbachev for political asylum, then Gorbachev had only to um, deport Honecker to one of the sovereign republics of the Soviet Union. Uh, political issues surrounding the Honecker case are gathering momentum. Two legal acts, one which is passed, one which is still under development in the parliament of Hungary, have uh, provoked Hungarian society. The first law, which has already been passed, holds that all people responsible for crimes committed uh, from December 21, 1942 
to May 2nd, 1990 can be prosecuted. The second law being discussed right now will determine the treatment of secret police agents of the former regime. And it will permit the publishing of lists of uh, the former agents of the secret police. The first law could lead to criminal accusations of many, many people in Hungary. Just the events of 1956 uh, divided the nation, and it's clear that such a situation can become uh, the cause of numerous cases. Some lawyers in Hungary believe that this could lead to vengeance, an eye for an eye, or tooth for a tooth. This is a principle of, of primitive nations. Hungary is developing democracy today, and it's scary to hear cries for vengeance against traitors against the nation, so-called traitors or so-called communist enemies. History has already doled out justice, and those who had power in the past and supported the system have been fooled by history, and history has already shown where truth is. Another issue noted by many parliamentarians of Hungary, if the first law could help the new political nomenclature, then the second law can hurt those who are now in power. A report from Vladislavich uh, Kislavkia, 78-year-old former gener general secretary of the Czechoslovak Communist Party and president Gustav uh, Husak died today. The Emir of Kuwait is visiting Moscow today. He met with Gorbachev. They had one one to one talks, and afterwards the meeting was expanded to include more people, discuss Middle East issues and the crisis of after the war in the Middle East, discuss the expansion of relationships. And it was noted that Soviet Kuwait relations have a long tradition and a long history and would, um, after meeting with Gorbachev, the Kuwait Emir met, Gorbachev met with Kuwaiti children whose parents are being held in, uh, in Iraqi prison camps. And they, the children appealed to Gorbachev to help them free their parents from Iraqi prison camps. Gorbachev promised that the Soviet Union, in cooperation with other nations, would do everything they could to restore the parents to their kids. Today, the Emir of Kuwait also met with Russian President Yeltsin. During the talks, they discussed um, improving economic relations between Russia and Kuwait. The Emir of Kuwait invited Yeltsin to Kuwait. Yeltsin accepted the offer. The president of Czechoslovakia, Havel, in a TV speech said that the nation is falling into chaos and um, offered a solution. This is a bill to disband the Federal Congress of Czechoslovakia and the bill to change the structure of the legislative uh, powers of Czechoslovakia and to introduce a new electoral procedural law. Exiled Haitian President Aristide declared his willingness to work with a parliamentary delegation of Haiti to develop a new structure of government with uh, oppositional representat representation. Aristide, however, placed conditions on the interim government, which included a cleansing a cleansing of the Haitian army and also the exile of the army general who led the October military coup. In Finland, a memorial to Soviet POWs who died there during World War II has been established.
This is more necessary for those who are alive right now than those who died. These are the words of Cherkasov, the builder of the memorial. For many years, he sought out his father and only recently learned where his father died and where he was buried. This is near the Finnish village of Lengemeke. Um, priest conducted a service at the opening of the memorial. Over 18,000 Soviet army soldiers and officers died in Finland during the war. Most of them died during World War 1941-42. Oh, there are over 70 mass graves of Soviet POWs in Finland. After the war, these mass graves were marked with little pyramids and um, concrete structures. Now at one of these sites, this memorial has been built. The quiet of the Finnish forest is broken by this bell commemorating our